Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about implementation of connection oriented service. This connection oriented service was introduced for reliable connection, reliable data transmission. A connection oriented service is one that establishes a dedicated connection between the communicating device before transmitting the data. That means before transmission of the data, the connection is the session connection or the physical connection is established between the source and the destination node. This model, this is the model after the telephone system. That means after the telephone system was introduced, this connection oriented service was uh, developed. This is one of the model. In connection oriented services, the data streams are delivered to the receiver in the same order in which they have been sent by the sender. Means the order is maintained in connection oriented service. So whatever the order followed by the sending device, the in the same order the data packets are received at the receiver side. The operations which are performed on connection oriented services are of three different types. So those uh, three different type of uh, operations are first one is establishing a connection that means uh, to, to for tra data transmission using connection oriented service we need to follow three different operations which are performed sequentially. So what are the three different operations mean first one is establishing connection. So what is this establishing connection? A direct physical connection is established among the sessions just before transmitting the data. So how it will be happened mean by using three way handshake protocol. The connection is established between the source device and the destination device. So here if you observe the client server architecture is considered. So here client is nothing but the source device and server is nothing but the receiver's device. So here uh, by using the three-way handshaking protocol, the connection is established between the client and server. So for, connect for establishing the connection, first the client will send the sync message, synchronous message that is SYN to the server. That is nothing but a request for establishing a connection uh, from client to the server. So once the sync message, SYN sync message was received by the server. So after receiving this message, simply the server will send the sync message along with acknowledgement. So sync plus acknowledgement is transmitted to the client. So once client received this one, then it will understand the sync message. Mean the receiver is ready to accepting the messages. Then the connection is automatically established. The physical connection is established between the client and server. So now the client will send acknowledgement to the server. So this is about uh, the how the connection is established before transmitting the data. So that is the first operation. So after establishing the connection, the server need to transmit the data. That is the second operation performed. So how it will transmit the data? So first the server one here we have a source and receiver uh, source and destination is there. So PC1 is nothing but the source and PC2 is nothing but the receiver. Through internet the PC1 wants to transmit a data to PC2. So here first thing is uh, uh, establishing a connection by sending SYN, SYN acknowledged and acknowledged message. So after completing this one the connection is established between the sessions that is the source and the destination. So after establishment of the connection the data is transferred from the sender to the receiver. So that will be represented like this. So now the data is transferred by bytes of segments in the bytes of segments the data is transferred so after transmission of the data means after completing the transmission of the data fully the packet is arrived at the receiver side then the server's duty is to release the connection because once uh, the particular devices are establishing a connection means they are dedicated to that link they will transmit the data 
once their work is over simply both will release the uh, connections so if they release the connection then only they will allow the other devices to connect and to transmit the data for that purpose the third op operation performed in connection oriented service is after the complete transmission of the data the connection is released by using releasing connection so this is the third operation performed in connection oriented service so for releasing the connection again it is using uh, the three way handshaking protocol for terminating the connection so how it will terminate it? so again here is a client server architecture the client will send fin message fin f i n fin fin is nothing but finish to represent the finishing of the connection or finishing of the communication simply the client will send fin message to server so once the fin message is received by server uh, again it will append the acknowledgement ack to the fin message and both will transmit it to client so now finally the client will send the acknowledgement message so from this the connection whatever the connection established between the client and server that will be released by using this handshaking protocol so like this uh, for connection oriented services first operation performed is establishing a connection between the client and the server so once the connection is established then start transmitting the data after completion of the transmission of data simply the server again releases the connection so the, those are the three operations performed now uh, what are the services means uh, the connection oriented services may be done in two different ways one is circuit switched connection and the other one is virtual switched connection so what is this circuit switched connection it is a dedicated physical path or a circuit which is established between the communicating nodes communicating nodes means source node and the destination node and then the data stream is transferred so by using the circuit switched connection first the connection the physical connection is established uh, established between the devices so after establishment of the connection only the data is transmitted so that is called as circuit switched connection this is a physical connection physical path uh, which is existed between the source and the destination then what about virtual circuit switched connection so virtual switched connection means the data stream is transferred over a packet switched network here the virtual path is established between the sender and the receiver so in circuit switch the physical path is established between the sender and the receiver whereas in virtual circuit switch the circuit switch is there but the path is virtual so there is a virtual path which is established between the sender and the receiver so after establishing the data transmission will be taken place so this is one of the example for implementation of connection oriented services so here we have three devices are there one is host h1 host h2 and host h3 so each host consisting of a process means is executing a process that is a process p1 in host h1 process p2 in host host h2 and process p3 in host h3 so here host h1 wants to transmit a data packet to host h2 in the similar way the host h3 is also want to transmit a packet to host h2 that means host h1 and h2 h3 acts as a source or uh, source devices and h2 is acting as a destination device so while transmitting the packet here it, uh, in between these devices these communicating devices we have the subnet is there consisting of six rotors so six rotors are a b c d e and f uh, those six rotors are existed in the subnet which are connecting the host h1 to h2 and h3 to h2 so here how the data is transmitted mean how the packets are transmitted from h1 to h3 so each and every rotor so first choose the path and 
according to that path the rotors will maintain the routing tables here the routing tables consisting of the in data and out data in data means from which node the data is coming out data means to which node the packet is transmitted so first thing is we need to choose the path so how the path is chosen because we have n number of paths are existing between these routers so from that n number of routes we need to choose the best path so here if you consider the best path uh, between the h1 to h2 is represented by red line and from path between h3 to h2 is represented by blue line so if you consider the red line so how the path is existed h1 to node router a from router a to router c from c to e and from e to f and from e to destination node so like that the h3 to h2 also one path is existed so here is also the same path that is h3 to a a to c c to e and e to f and finally it reaches to h2 so like this we will uh, first existing the connection mean establish a connection between the routers so how the routers are connected next thing is maintaining the routing tables so here what are the routers included in the path a c and e so we need to write down the routing tables for a routing table for c and routing table for e so here is a routing table for a so what is here so here we will maintain two tables one is related to in and other one is related to out so the in table is nothing but from which node the data is coming so to a the data is coming from h1 and data is coming from h3 so here we will maintain the sequence number for each and every packet so what is the sequence number here h1 added the sequence number of 1 and h3 is also added the sequence number of 1 so now both h1 h3 sends packet to a so that will be represented like this h1 1 h3 1 so while it is received by a by using the label switching the h3 1 what is the sequence number with h3 is there that will be changed to 2 so now a will transmit packet 1 and 2 to router c so that is represented here so how the h3 1 is changed to h2 mean by using the label switching method next at router c again it will maintain the routing table so that routing table maintains two things one is in table and the other one is out table here for routing routing table router c it will take the data from a and it will pass data to e so that's why the in table related to a and the out table is related to e so like that the router e is also maintaining the data so e at e the data is taken the packet is taken from c and packet is forwarded to f so that's why this uh, routing table is maintained at router e so like this uh, the path is existed the physical path is existed from h1 to h2 and from h3 to h2 so now we will see what are the different type of services provided in connection oriented service. So first one is reliable message. So by using this connection oriented service, one of the service provided is reliable message. Because whatever the messages are passed, here acknowledgement is there. So by using the acknowledgement and by using the pre-established connection, the source node and destination node are connected and the messages whatever is transmitted are reliable. So reliable messages, example for this reliable message is sequence of pages. Next one is reliable byte stream. So whenever you want to download a songs means particular mp3 songs either in a Telugu language or any language from the net then that downloading songs will be taken from the reliable source that's why reliable byte stream mean byte by byte the songs will be downloaded into your device so that will uh, downloaded by using the connection oriented service so the example for reliable byte stream is song download unreliable connection so what is this unreliable connection 
so whenever we are using the uh, voice over internet protocol the, those are the example for this unreliable connection so what is this voip voice over internet protocol it is a technology that allows you to make a calls using broadband internet connection instead of a regular phone call so instead of a regular regular phone call the voice uh, calls are making by using the broadband internet connection so those are uh, unreliable connections coming to advantages of connection oriented service so it kindly support for quality of service and the connection is more reliable when compared to the connectionless service so here acknowledgement is there and pre connection pre uh, setup is there so that's why the connection is more reliable when compared to the connectionless service long and large messages can be divided into various smaller messages so that it can fit inside the packets so this is also one of the advantage of connection oriented service problems or issues that are related to duplicate data packets are made less severe so uh, the problems are the issues related to the duplicate data packets so duplicate data packets are made less severe so this is also one advantage and coming to the disadvantages of connection oriented service in this connection the cost is fixed no matter how traffic is so whatever the cost is there so that cost is fixed even though the traffic is low or the traffic is high so without bothering about the traffic the cost is fixed so that is one of the drawback in connection oriented service it is necessary to have resource allocation before communication because here the pre setup is required the circuit setup is required before transmitting the data so that's why it is necessary to have the resource allocations before communication before starting tra before transmitting the data so next one is if any route or path failures or network congestions arise there is no alternative way available to continue the communication so by using the pre setup or by using the circuit if any route or path failures occurs or the network congestions arise then there is no alternative way for available to the continue to continue the communication so simply uh, whenever the failure occurs the transactions will be terminated but there is no alternative way to continue the communication so that is the main drawback with connection oriented service thank you